My fiancé of 23 lied to me m26 for 3 months about wanting to fix our relationship. Then cheated on me with a guy at work. We got engaged on August 22nd of this year. She said yes emphatically. We were living in an apartment together and then moved into a house together to rent. Things were going great in our relationship I thought. Then about a week after we moved in, she was distant. Dismissive. The night I noticed, I brought it up to her and she was on her phone most of the time that I was talking to her. Throughout this whole story I'm telling, remember that she never stopped being dismissive. Fast forward a couple of weeks. We were going to go out for her birthday. It wasn't her birthday yet. Just celebrating early. At the time I wasn't happy at all because we were having problems, work was difficult, and we had a cat that had to be put down. I was very sad that evening and our friends noticed. On the way to the next place it was here and I. She told me get over it. Just be happy for me it's my only weekend to go out for my birthday. That night she actually got so drunk that she needed medical attention, I ended up calling an ambulance. She ended up saying I was dumb for doing that and didn't have to. She's originally from Ohio. We would visit her family often there. That weekend we went, she was again, dismissive. She wasn't talking that much to me, not very touchy. The last night we were there, I broke down crying, badly. I thought she was going to leave me. She saw me crying and she immediately said we need a break and then she eventually announced that night that she's moving back to Ohio because she wants to be with family. This Ohio thing would be a theme that she wanted to move back with or without me. We never took a break. We said we need a therapist. She would never look for a therapist, I had to look. At this point we hadn't had as time at all. In maybe a month. I came home from work one day and told her this needs to change. She said she didn't want to have as time with me. That she's taking interest in other guys. I thought because she was open about the other guys, she wasn't cheating on me. She didn't want to tell me which guys, but she finally said a guy she works with. We went on a date once trying to spark things again. She texted her girlfriend I would rather be with you but I have to stay here and pretend like I wanted to be in this relationship I glanced over and saw it. I called her out for it and she made up this bull story. Another time she got annoyed with me and hit me in the face out of annoyance. Then after she said she wasn't apologizing for it and I was an emotionally pussy and that's why she isn't having s time with me. On November 19th she went on a girl's trip. The night before I asked her to check in. To at least tell me she's okay. I didn't care who or what she was doing. Just that she was okay. She never did. I had to ask her at 2am. She said she was. Next day she came back said they were going out with the employees at the bar and that a guy tried to feel her up. I thought it was odd she didn't tell me that the night before. Normally she would. I was suspicious so I went through her phone. I found that she sent a picture of her and her friend's bare asses sent to another guy on Snapchat. I called her out for it and she immediately said that I was weird and creepy for going through her phone. Then she walked out and went to a friend's house. We broke up for a couple of hours, but I somehow took her back after she pleaded wet work on things and see the therapist we scheduled to see. That we haven't even tried therapy yet. So after this, I started putting pieces together. Around Thanksgiving she started staying late at work, her engagement ring would be left in the car when she got home, and around December 10th, I saw she was messaging the guy at work. We went to the city on December 11th and I noticed her messaging him a couple times that day too. I was upset. So the next day I brought up all the red flags I noticed and she said oh my gosh I'm so sorry, when you say it all like that it sounds horrible. This conversation was her getting defensive at first, then not, then again. She said all they talked about was work. So I asked to see the messages. She said trust me, I know how it feels, if you read them. You'll get mad. Later that night we had planned to have a gaming night and spend time together. We were playing games and she looked at her phone a couple of times, she then all of a sudden didn't want to play games. She was tired. We laid down in bed so I can watch TV and she sat perpendicular to me. I saw her aggressively scrolling up in her phone and I knew she was looking for pictures. In my head she's sending this guy nudes right next to me. Her feet were touching me. Her phone lays next to me to charge. She turned over and I asked if she wanted to charge her phone. No response. 
I said two more things with no response. Like it was talking to a wall. One hour later I got up, I slept in the couch, and dumped her at 7 the next morning on December 13th. She didn't fight at all. She said okay and left for work. Later that day she came back and gave me the ring. She told me she's been fooling around with this guy at work that she's been lying about it. She told me she didn't think about me when she did too. She even wore the ring while cheating on me. She said everyone at work knew there was something going on with them. I asked how long it was happening. She told me she didn't know maybe weeks. She eventually said to me I didn't have s time with him not did at least. During this whole conversation she couldn't look at me and she didn't say sorry. Our conversation ended, I went upstairs to call people. I came back down. She had left perfume out and hair in the shower, she went to go have s time with this guy. I also knew the person's house she was going to stay at, she wasn't there. That was it. That was the last in-person conversation we've had. Throughout these three months we would have problems she would cause, I would want out, she would fight back and said we can fix it. Anytime I was upset or sad, she would get annoyed. She did because she said she felt bad for feeling like this and it's affecting me. Along with this, she was dismissive. She didn't ask about me, her friends didn't really talk to me anymore. She made it sound like I was the problem. She wouldn't kiss me, barely cuddle me. She would stay up late on her phone and not talk to me. Looking back, this was the worst three months of my life. I hated it and I was extremely depressed. She knew that, she knew I was fighting for her. She didn't care. She didn't love me. Deep down, I know she first cheated on me in September. I also firmly believe she had s time with him multiple times already. Now that this is over, I can be happy. They'll have a scar forever for what this woman did to me. I can heal and be who I was again. As of his post today, I'm angry, sad, and confused, but I already feel better she's no longer hurting me. I'll never allow myself a woman to use my love against me and lie to me about everything. I'm happier without her. Redditor's Reactions Redditor 1, Hi up, I'm now happy for you. You had dumped her but you should have done a long time ago. She had no respect for you but, what is done is done. Now, be sure don't let her contact you anymore by blocking her in every way she had to reach you. And the most important, do never ever take her back. Don't let ever be manipulated by her. Redditor 2, pack her stuff up in garbage bags, rent a storage unit for one month, and have a friend give her the key. You don't even have to have her come back to get her stuff. Good riddance to bad rubbish, and the Brits are want to say.